Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. This lesson is going into, I hate my life right now. Okay. I hate my life right now. And the reason why I titled it that title is because that could change at any moment. Okay. When you come in this truth, you have to learn how to hate your life. No matter if you're doing good, new car, new job. Okay. New whatever. Okay. You have to learn to contain your spirit, man, and not let the passion go from this word to whatever new thing you got going on. Okay. And that's learning how to hate your life. So let's read that again. Revelations 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Talking about the elect, the prophets, and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. Now, you have to understand in this truth that if your Habashim Abashah is for you, okay, he is going to make it where you hate your life, man. All right. You can book that. You're going to hate your life because he's going to put an emotion for you to hate your life. All right. That's how you're going to stay in the truth. That's how you're going to understand what time it is, man. OK, so that you don't fall back into the world. OK, it's set up that way. Now, let's go to John chapter 12, verse 25. The words of Yahweh Shai. And he said, he that loveth his life shall lose it. OK, so you're supposed to hate your life because if you love your life, meaning the world, your life in the world, your worldly life, you're going to lose it, man. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. OK, so you're supposed to hate your life, man. If you don't hate your life, that's a problem. OK, you should be examining yourself, man. Do you really hate your life? Think about it. You know, put all the bullshit on pause. Sit down and think about it, man. Do you really, really hate your life? And if you can honestly say that you do hate your life, then you're on the right path. OK. But if you can honestly say you don't hate your life, okay, or it's like, uh, you kind of like, ah, I'm not sure, then you don't hate your life, man. Because trust me, you're going to know if you hate your life. Because it's a feeling that's there that's undeniable, man, when you really hate your life. Okay, so hating your life, okay, is cleaving to your high about your mouth shy. All right? And that's life eternal. Let's go into hate in the blue letter in this scripture. Strong's G, 3404, Maseo, Maseo. Okay, it says, to hate, pursue with hatred, detest. Okay, let's go into Google definition on detest. It says, dislike intensely. <laughs> to dislike intensely, man. Meaning you really, really hate this place. You hate your life, man. Okay, you're not happy with your life. The only time you're really happy is when you have the spirit on you, man. Okay? It's when you can focus on the spirit and meditate about the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Without distractions, you know, without getting carried away here, carried away there. Where you can really lock in, that's where your happiness is at. Okay? Other than that, you hate your life, man. And that's where you got to be in this truth, man, to survive, man. That's where you got to be. And like I said, the reason why I titled the video, I Hate My Life Right Now, it's because that can change. And you always got to pray to your Habashim Abishai that you stay in the mind frame of hating your life, man. Okay, because something can happen at any moment, man, to bring your attention to something else. And your passion is on that other something else. Okay, that has happened to a lot of guys. And they back in the world because why? They did not hate their life. All right. And also, too, man, you got a lot of guys that your Habashim Abishai put pure hell on them made them suffer to wake their ass up or shake their ass up and they were offended okay they couldn't take the burning of the tribulations so then they went back into the world because they didn't want to hate their life all right from there let's go to first corinthians chapter 7 verse 31 and they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world pass away right man use the world and do not abuse it when you are abusing the world you are loving the world man 
Okay, meaning you too much into it, man. See, it's one thing to go with the motions, okay? You got to work. You know, there's different things you got to do in this world, okay? That's set that way, okay? That's using the world and not abusing it. But if you're just not going through the motions, but you're really up in this place, <laughs> you know, you're really loving this place, okay, then you are abusing it, man, meaning you're going to lose your life, okay? Eternal life. You're not going to get it. You know why? Because your heart and your soul is going to love this place. You got to hate your life, man. See, when you hate this world, man, your spirit is more closer to your high your mouth shot. That's without a doubt. Okay, because you don't really get uh, satisfaction from this place. So you need it from the spirit because you're being spiritual, man. That's what it means to walk in the spirit, man. You got to hate this life to walk in the spirit, to walk as a truth of the light. Okay, that's the reality of it. Okay, let's go to first Peter chapter five, verse 10. But the God of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shai, after that you have suffered a while, right, after that you have hated your life. <laughs> That's basically what it's saying. After you have hated your life for a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Right, because as you hate your life, you get closer to the spiritual, okay, to the spirit, okay? And that's going to strengthen you, man. It's going to build your inward, okay? While your outward perish, meaning your worldly part of you perishes, okay? That's what that's talking about. All right? Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Let's start at verse 3. Blessed be Yahweh, even our Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai, the Father of mercies and the Father of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort with which we ourselves are confident of your how about you, shot. Right, man. So you hate your life, but you come to these lessons to get fed, okay? To get comforted because you understand that a promise is coming. You understand that we're at the end and we're very close and that you're going to receive that glory, okay? You're going to receive peace forever, that eternal life, okay? That's your focus, man. Okay, that's what it means by your mind being in heaven. Okay, not on the earth. Okay, your affection. Okay, you got to take your affection out from this world, man, and place it towards your Habashim Al Shai, though you are in this world. Using this world, but not abusing this world, man. You have to hate your life. And like I said, if your Habashim Al Shai is with you, he is going to make you hate your life. You're not going to be able to escape it, man. He's going to make certain things happen. You can book it. For you to look at your life and say, man, I freaking hate my life. I hate this place, man. Okay? It ain't going to feel good either, man. Okay? But that's when you tap into the spirit. Okay? That's when you say, man, this place ain't for me. I'm going to just do what I got to do, work or whatever. But my mind and my heart is where you hop out your mouth shy. Okay? That's the point. From there, let's go to Romans chapter 5, verse 3 and 4. It says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. Right, man. We glory in tribulations also, man. Okay, you get to the point where you hate your life so much, man. You like, whatever. It feels good for you to hate your life. You start feeling good about it. You know why? Because you start feeling more of the inward getting better. Your spirit, man. Okay? You feel more of the Holy Spirit that way once you accept it and once you uh, go about it the right way, man. Being spiritual, not carnal. Now, if you go about it in a carnal way, man, you're just going to be depressed 24-7 all the time. You're not going to enjoy the fruits of that, the fruits of hating your life. Okay? So you got to approach it spiritually. Period, man. Okay? Now, let me end on this scripture. Period, man. Okay? So let's end it on this. Romans 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And that's the point, man. Focus on the glory. But it's hard to focus on that glory. It's hard to focus on salvation whenever you are abusing the world. Okay? Meaning the world is the centerpiece of your heart, of your mind. Okay? You're loving your life, man. But when you hate your life, you can understand and see more clearly the promise. Because the spirit and that light is going to be in you. Okay? Loving the world, man, is just going to have nothing but darkness in you, man. You want your body to be full of light. Your eye to be single and to be full of light. 
Okay, the more you hate your life, the more your eyes going to be single and the more you're going to draw from the spirit. Okay, and the more you're going to be comforted. All right, that's the reality. So just a quick little lesson in the spirit, man, to meditate upon, man. Hate your life. Okay, understand it's going to happen, man. You're going to have to hate it when it's all said and done before your house shot come back, man. Matter of fact, let me go back to the first scripture I read. Okay, Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Right. So it's a prophecy, man. They love not their lives unto death. Matter of fact, let me read verse 12. Therefore rejoice you heavens and you that dwell in them. Woe unto the habitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. OK, we close to that, man. OK, so. Hey, continue to hate your life. Examine yourself. Do you really hate your life? So with that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kaha Kodash. Forgive me the spirit through this lesson. Double honors to the L's great millstone. And Shalom to Yahweh through this, doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.